Welcome to Henshaw's Knowledge Village, the place to go for site loss advice and expertise. My name is Mark Belcher and I'm the Community Services Development Manager Digital. And today I'm going to talk to you about a mobility aid. So why don't you stay tuned because it's going to be fun. So our friends from Sight and Sound have sent us a mobility device called the Sunu Band. Uh, one thing before we get into it, this isn't a replacement for the skills you've got with a cane and or with a guide dog. This is an accompaniment, something to help you along. As you know, guide dogs and canes keep you safe below the belt. Now, the Sunu band helps you with your peripheral vision, but also helps with things above the waist. Um, and those pesky kind of low hanging trees will be something we talk about later on in the video. But well, let's just unbox this and tell you what you get. So, um, as always, nice and simple. Uh, what it does come is a nice little card that says, life is either a dare daring adventure or nothing. And that's from the famous Helen Keller. And it's in Braille as well, so nice touch there, Sunu Band. But the main event is actually the device itself. You get a charging lead in there, um, not a charger. Um, that's kind of getting a mist now by people. Uh, so just a charging lead. The band is nice and simple really. It's a watch band. It's got a body to it with a um, with like a touch pad. It's only got two tactile buttons. And then the main event really is a sensor. So this is a sonar sensor. Invite, invented by a German inventor in 1913. So it's like 1913 to the 21st century for this band. What's its job? It essentially looks out for you. Okay, so wherever the sensor is pointing, it will give you haptic feedback. So it sends out a pulse, it returns the pulse, and it gives you an indication on if there's an obstacle there or not. It does that by vibration. So if it's not, if it's far away, it won't give you any vibration. If you're getting closer to it, it'll give you a little tap. And then when you write on it, it will be more aggressive and more obvious. Um, so what we did is we went out and about and we tried this on in various situations. But before we get into that, I just wanna give you a kind of bit of a brief on what else it can do. This video really is about its mobility aids, but it is smart, okay? So with your phone, um, you can do things like tell the time. Um, it can also tell you where you are as well, but you do need the phone for it to work in that way. Um, soon you do say that you don't actually need a phone to use this, and that's true. Um, but what you do need a phone for is to calibrate the band and also to change some of the settings. Settings. Two modes, essentially. Indoor mode and outdoor mode. And the difference really is how sensitive you make the sensor. So being out and about, walking around fast and wide spaces, you probably want it to look further than you would inside your home, for instance or in a hotel. Um, so you can have it from four feet as a minimum distance to 16 feet. Um, and it's dead easy to change that mode as well. Um, so that really is all she wrote. It's quite simple. Um, what we found was it takes a little bit of getting used to, but not a lot, because it's actually quite obvious what it's doing and what it's seeing. You can wear it on both wrists, left and right. So we went out and about with the Sunu band just to really see what it's like in a situ. You know, instead of just doing it in the office, we thought we'd go and go for a walk around. So we visited three trees in our vicinity. One of them was quite bare and it was, uh, well, it was very bare. There was nothing on it, so it was just branches. The branches were about six to seven feet high so they weren't going to interfere with me on a walk. Um, however, the Sunu band did pick it up. It gave me a faint haptic pulse, uh, enough to know that there was something above. But again, when you start getting used to it, when it's that faint buzz and you trust it, 
because I do at the moment, you get that faint understanding, so you know it's not gonna really interfere with you. We went to a second tree, which is a blossom tree, um, and then again, the Sunu band did pick that up, and the, the actual vibration was, again, it picked it up about four feet, um, but it was more intense. So it gave me an opportunity to stop. You can kind of scan by twisting your arm or moving your arm, and it gives you a real good indication of what's around you, so you can get an exit out. Uh, tree three was a beautiful um, evergreen tree with very thick foliage and very low branches. Um, that was the most dramatic um, difference. That was full on vibration and aptics. Again, about four or five feet, gave me a real clear indication that that was gonna be a problem for me. Um, right, because again, because of the, I knew it was high and low, uh, just because of the haptic and how close that was. Two other scenarios we used the Sunu band was approaching some steps, so they had an arm rail. Um, again, it picked it up quickly um, and quite violently as well, so it gave me an opportunity to stop. And we did it at a metro station, a tram stop, um, and that walking across the barrier, again, within about four or five feet, gave me an indication that there was a barrier across there. Um, so again, that gave me good time to, to make adjustments. As I said before, the Sunu band is really about um, enhancing the experience for mobile air. So nothing below waist height, it's gonna pick up because essentially the sensor is pointing up from waist to chest and above and to the side, left and right. Um, so it's really about those elements. So, you know, there'll be some circumstances where you came would actually go under the obstacle and you wouldn't feel it until it was kind of right on you. This is where the Sunu band would come in. That would pick that level of detail up way before your cane could. So as I said, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a marriage made in heaven. It really is a really good kind of companion with each other. So in a nutshell, we like it. It's a great companion for people that have already got good skills. Um, they call it a smart device and it does various things, including tells you the time, but it needs to be connected to your phone to do that. Um, worth a try. It's definitely worth a try. And that all these things are usually on 14 day trial. So, you know, you can try it, um, see if you like it, keep it, or give it them back. So, you know, what's to lose really? Um, I've said it once and I'll say it again. It's a companion for good mobility skills. It's not something you'll want to use on its own. So that's a Sunu band. That's me finished for this video. If you like the video, as always, pass it on. Subscribe if you haven't. Give us a thumbs up. We love comments, good and bad, because um, it keeps us doing what we do. So that's me done. I'll see you on the next one. Our videos are helping people across the world. If you found them useful, please donate on our website so we can keep making more videos like this in the future. Henshaws, supporting people with sight loss and a range of other disabilities to go beyond expectations.